Hey guys, it's Adrian Harbor BHA here bringing you a new video. Now, I have not done this one before, so this one is completely new. Uh, the name of the application is Tatuli. Uh, at least I hope that's how you pronounce it. It kind of runs alongside your uh, a Plex media server, and uh, it handles analytics and all that uh, for your server as far as uh, what are the top movies, what... Uh, who are the top users watching movies? How many people are streaming on a regular basis? You know, all kinds of different statistics. I use Plex quite a bit, uh, just around the house. But uh, I don't know that we necessarily uh, use it enough to where we would need any kind of analytics. Yeah, it's something cool to play around with, and of course there is a component for Home Assistant, so we'll be able to pull in those statistics into Home Assistant as well, and use them with any existing uh, automations or uh, scripts and switches, whatever else you want to do with them in Home Assistant. And to top it all off, of course, we're going to install it in a Docker container, because you know I like to do a lot of my installs in Docker, if it's all possible. Uh, so of course we're going to use Docker Compose for that, so that'll be pretty cool as well. All right, so let's do a quick run through of everything we're going to cover in this video. So, of course, uh, for starters, uh, there's a few prerequisites that we need to do to uh, make this all work correctly. Uh, we need to create a config directory on our Docker host machine that we are going to use to store the Tatuli uh, or config files. Next, you need to provide access uh, for Tatuli to access your uh, Plex logs. Now, uh, of course, if it's running on the same machine as uh, Totuli is going to be running, it certainly makes it easy. Uh, you just point it at that uh, share on that machine or that directory, and it'll be able to pull the logs right from there. I have Plex running on a totally different machine, so I'm going to use a uh, Samba share or a network share uh, for it to access the Plex logs. So that'll be my second... Uh, Second step here will be mounting that network share. Once that's ready to go, then we will install Tatuli in Docker using Docker Compose. After that, then of course we'll kind of see what that looks like in action. Uh, the next step will be to then add our Tatuli uh, server into Home Assistant with the Tatuli component. And then of course, lastly, I'll just show you what that looks like in Home Assistant. So let's get started. All right, so this is a pretty simple step. Again, all we need to do is uh, create a directory somewhere on our Docker host machine that we can store the Tatuli configuration. This will be just uh, so that in case we blow out that uh, Docker uh, container and rebuild, as long as we point it back at that same directory, of course, we won't have to do anything else. You could choose to use a Docker volume if you wanted to, but by doing it this way, if we wanted to edit the configuration outside of uh, the Docker container itself, then we can do that easily. So we'll do a mkdir tatuli. And then just after that, we'll go ahead and do an ls. As you can see, I've created there in my home directory, so we are good to go. All right, so as I said before, this step is somewhat optional. Uh, depending on how you have your Plex configuration or your Plex server set up. Uh, like I said, mine is on my network, but it's on a separate server. So we are using a Samba share uh, mounted on the uh, Docker host machine for Tatuli to be able to access uh, those Plex logs. We're going to create a Plex logs directory inside of the uh, Tatuli directory we just created. And basically we're going to use that to mount uh, a network share. I will edit my FS tab file here, and then we're going to add a line that points it to the uh, Plex share that I have set up on my Plex media server. So, uh, of course, that's 10.10.10.19, uh, and then the uh, Samba share is Plex logs. And then I'm going to mount it to uh, slash home slash Adrian slash Tatuli slash Plex logs. 
put in the uh, username and password for that share. And then of course, in order to restart or have it uh, pull in the updated FS tab file, we'll do a mount A. And then I'm just going to move into that Plex logs directory and show you that it is now mounted and I can see all those different Plex logs uh, that are stored on that server. Uh, well, once that's all done, we're ready to move on to the next step. All right, so of course we're ready to install uh, Tatuli using Docker Compose. So we're going to edit our uh, docker compose.yaml file here. We'll find an open spot down here at the bottom. Now the name of this uh, container for me is just going to be Tatuli. We're going to set the restart to uh, always. Now for the volumes, we just need to set up two volumes. One is going to be for the config directory. The second volume is just so it has access to the Plex logs. So we'll do a slash home slash Adrian slash Tatuli slash config colon slash config. And then that second one is slash home slash Adrian slash Tatuli slash Plex logs colon slash Plex underscore logs. Uh, for the environment, we need to set the group ID and user ID. Uh, mine on my machine are set to 1000. That's usually kind of the default. Uh, so PGID equals 1000, and then PUID equals 1000 as well. Now, by default, Tatuli uses port 8181. I'm not using that anywhere on my network, so I can easily set this up. So we're going to say ports, and then 8181 colon 8181 for the port. And then lastly, I just need to add in uh, the image that we're going to be using for this, which is Tatuli slash Tatuli. Once we have all that in there, we can go ahead and save it. And then, of course, we're going to do a sudo docker-compose up-d and give that a second to uh, install here. Once that's all done, then we're going to jump over to Portainer and just take a look and make sure everything looks good. And as you can see, Tatuli shows that it is starting up. We'll go ahead and click on it. And everything looks good there. Directories are showing up. We'll jump over to the logs. as you can see it says that it's already ready to go looks like if we go to the uh, main container screen as you can see there it's already showing healthy and running so uh, I think we are ready to go let's go ahead and jump over to the next step and take a look at it in action All right, so when you first pull up the uh, Tatuli web server, which you'll go to the uh, IP of your Docker host, which for me is 10.10.10.28 uh, colon 8181. It's going to ask you to go through a few steps to set that up. As you can see here, we'll give it a username and password. It'll ask me to sign in with my Plex.tv account. Go ahead and add that in here as well. And then it says, uh, what is the IP address of the Plex server? I should be able to hit this drop down here. And as you can see, there is Plex 10.10.10.19. .10 .10 that is my Plex server. We'll do verify here. And it says, yes, that's it. Server found. Go ahead and go through the rest of the steps. Finish. All right, so we'll go ahead and log in one more time. As you can see here, we are now logged into Tatuli. It's got a list of the recently added movies down there. Um, shows some of the library statistics as far as how many movies are there, uh, seasons of TV shows and whatnot. If 
we uh, go over here to the top and hit history or graphs, as you can see, this is where everything will start populating after a while. Uh, it's so new uh, to install that it doesn't have any of those statistics yet. It'll take a, a little bit for it to start populating and pulling all that information in. Um, probably should have waited a couple of days uh, to finish out this video just so that you could actually see the graphs. But you kind of get the idea. So it'll have uh, the top users, uh, top top count uh, by hour of the day, daily play count. So it'll have all kinds of different information there. So that's pretty cool. Uh, a lot of analytics there that you can kind of play around with. But that's pretty much it. So let's... Uh, we're going to jump over to the next step and see if we can't get it added into uh, Home Assistant. All right, so in order to add this into Home Assistant, we need the API key for our Tartuli server. Now that's under Settings, and we'll go over here to Web Interface down towards the bottom. Uh, there's a little section called API. It should be enabled by default. If it's not, you can say uh, enable API. It should have an API key already generated. If it doesn't, there's a button there. You hit generate. It'll create you a new API key if you want to do that. Uh, we'll go ahead and copy that because we're going to use that with our Home Assistant configuration. All right, so we're going to jump over to uh, Home Assistant. And I have that API key uh, already uh, saved in my secrets.yaml file. So we are going to edit my uh, sensor.yaml file, find an open spot down towards the bottom. The uh, platform, of course, is Tatuli. The API key, again, we're just going to point that at uh, the secrets.yaml file. So I have a uh, exclamation secret, and then I just called it Tatuli underscore API. Uh, the only other thing we really need is the host. And since ours is running on the same machine as everything else, we're just going to say 10.10.10.28. .10 .10 that is the IP of our Tatuli server. Once we have all that in there, we can save it, and then we're going to jump over to Home Assistant. We'll do a check configuration just to make sure everything looks okay. And then we're going to, of course, restart Home Assistant for it to pick up the changes. All right, again, Tatuli hasn't really pulled in uh, much with the way of statistics yet just because we just created it and uh, it really hasn't had a chance to actually pull in all that data and do anything with it. And I don't have anybody actually using my Plex server right now at this particular moment either. Surprise, surprise. But anyway, this is what it will look like in Home Assistant. As you can see, uh, it lists out all the different uh, available settings there. Uh, sensors that it will monitor all that stuff pretty cool little feature again something else that you can play around with uh, for me is probably more of just because I can not because I really need it for anything but it was something kind of cool to play around with and uh, like I said we use Plex a lot so we'll see what the uh, starts to look like as I use it more and more and see how those analytics uh, change other than that that's pretty much it guys that's the end of this video Let's do a quick run through of everything we covered in this video. So, of course, for starters, uh, we created a config directory for Tatuli on our Docker host machine. Uh, once that was done, I showed you how to use the FS tab uh, file to mount a network share for our Plex logs. Once all that was uh, done and out of the way, we were ready to install Tatuli in Docker using Docker Compose. Then I just kind of showed you what that looked like in action. Uh, once that was done, we added it into Home Assistant. And then, of course, lastly, I just showed you what that looked like in action. Again, that's the end of the video, guys. Uh, like I said, it wasn't super hard to set up. Um, probably the hardest part is just making sure that you have the ability to access your Plex logs from this Tatuli server. Uh, especially if it's running on a different machine, then, of course, you'll have to create a Samba share or something in order to access it. And guys, if you have trouble with doing that, let me know if you want to see a video on how to set up a network share or Samba share on a, on a Linux machine that you can then access from other machines. Just let me know. I can certainly put a video together for that. 
I want to thank everyone that has donated uh, or, or sent me money uh, and bought me a coffee on my buy me a coffee link. I really appreciate it. Every little bit helps. Uh, it's very kind of you guys, and uh, you definitely keep me going, that's for sure. Uh, if you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. As always, if there are any videos out there that you would like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know in the comments as well, and I will see if I can't get something put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around. Thanks!